In this video, I'm gonna show you how I stopped my slice by fixing my trail foot and how it's positioned. And if you don't have your trail foot in the right position, it's most certainly going to mean you're gonna slice the golf ball because you're not gonna turn your hips enough and your arms are gonna raise and you're gonna come over the top. So in this video, we're gonna look at the correct position to have your trail foot where you can prevent a slice once and for all. So I'm gonna go into my old setup here. And if you can see this foot, it's pretty straight on facing you. But this can be a big, big problem. We all have different mobilities and how much we can turn our hips based on how our foot's placed. But having your foot straight on can be a big, big problem because number one, Everyone's different. We all have different mobilities. So you're gonna learn in this video how much your foot should be flared out. And number two, as you get older, you're gonna have less and less mobility. So you're gonna to need to flare out your foot even more. So let's take a look at that. So what I want you to do is get into your setup. So the reason when my foot was straight out that that was causing a slice is because I wasn't turning my hips enough. So if I get my old setup and then turn, this is as much as I can turn turning around me because my hips aren't turned enough. So if we take a look at what that looks like face on, I don't turn my hips enough. I can't turn my upper body anymore unless I turn down. So that's what I do is I realize, oh, I can't turn around me anymore. I'm gonna tilt down my shoulders at the ball and that's not what you wanna do. This is video 15 of a 19 video series on every step that I took to stop my slice. So if you're struggling with the slice, I would highly recommend you watch every other video in this series. So if I get into my old setup now, and I have my foot straight on, I can only turn here, and I can't turn anymore unless I tilt down, and that's a big, big problem, because as you tilt down, your arms are going to raise, and then you're most certainly gonna come over the top and hit a slice. So we wanna turn around us, not tilt our shoulders down. If you wanna know exactly how to turn, that's video 11 of the series on how I stopped my slice, on the exact proper turn you need, and why you shouldn't turn your shoulders at the ball. So you can go check that out and come back to this video. But having my trail foot in this position meant I had to tilt down to swing a little bit faster and not hit the ball 50 yards. And so if I face you and do the same thing and turn flat and I turn flat and level, I wanna get a full turn. So I'm gonna put out this trail foot just a little bit more, still not a full turn, a little bit more. There we go. That's a full turn. And so this is how much my trail foot should be flared out. So when I was setting up to the ball with a, my trail foot straight on, this was making me tilt down and lift where we want this motion swinging around us where we can come from the inside. We don't wanna play this up and down game. We wanna play this no lifting of the arms and swing around and come from the inside. And so to do that, we wanna mirror this motion. So if I have my foot straight on, nope, but watch. I can maintain this position with this trail foot. See, watch again, swing around me. I can maintain this position if my trail foot's like flared out. But now watch as I put it in, oh my gosh, over, in. All has to do with the trail foot. So I would try that drill, try, get into your setup, and go, okay, how can I get a full turn flat, not down, turn your shoulders flat, and go a little bit more, there we go. And that's gonna tell you, based on your hip mobility, how flared out your trail foot should be. And flaring that trail foot out really helped me to stop my slice. If you found some helpful tips in this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, as that would really help me out. What you learn in this video is part of fundamental one to the single plane swing that I teach, and that is setting up on your unique swing plane. And if we get all the ingredients right when we're setting up to the ball, it makes the whole rest of the swing so much easier. So that's fundamental one of four fundamentals that I teach over at manninggolf.com, and y'all can see that in the description of this video. But again, I hope you found some helpful tips in this video, and I hope the rest of your day goes well.